Today, we'll talk about milling plexiglass. Plexiglass is the most common material processed on milling machines. Plexiglass is used in the production of equipment for exhibitions and shopping centers, as well as structures for advertising, signs, and plates for the office. This material can be found in almost all areas. Despite this, there is always a demand for processing plexiglass. This is due to the versatility and low cost of the material. How to work with the material? For processing plexiglass, we recommend using spiral or double helical cutters. We recommend choosing a small depth of cut. When finishing about one to two millimeters, no more than four millimeters during roughing, as the material is fragile and capricious. At greater depths, splitting or fusion may occur in the material. In a practical way, we have identified the optimal feed rate for us. It is 2,000 to 2,500 millimeters per minute. At higher speeds, there is the risk of breaking the cutter. If the speed is lower, the plexiglass in the cutting area begins to heat up, darken, and melt. When milling plexiglass, we recommend that you use the parallel flow. That is, during machining, the direction of rotation of the cutter must be parallel to the direction of movement of the spindle. Unlike many other materials, when milling plexiglass in this way, you will achieve the best quality of the end surface of plexiglass. We selected the optimum speed for the spindle by trial. We recommend that you set the rotational speed to 16,000 to 18,000 RPM. For better milling and high quality cutting, a blowing system is often used. This will cool the cutting site and prevent the removed chill from fusing. When processing plexiglass, please note, the edge must be straight and free of chips. The material edge should be thin, friable, and not melt. There should be no residue on the cutting tool. This indicates that the cutting tool is blunt or an incorrectly selected cutting mode. It is not allowed to use cutters with which you previously managed to cut hardwood, carbon, or non-ferrous metals. We will be glad to help you in choosing the equipment you need. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to share them in the comments.